everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Even Moss Afghan Square. This is week four, option one of the Make It Your Way Crochet Along. If you're joining me for that, welcome. If you're not and would like to know more about the Make It Your Way Crochet Along, you can check out the description of this video and I'll provide a direct link there for you for the uh, for the information. Basically what we're doing is each week we are choosing between two different crochet afghan squares to make. Once we've made our choice we're making four of the square that we choose and at the end of the crochet along we're going to create a beautiful stitch sampler blanket. So this is week four option one. This square today is worked in the even moss stitch. The even moss stitch is quite simple to work, creates a beautiful texture that's the same on the front as it is on the back. For the tutorial today I'm going to be using a 6 millimeter or a J10 crochet hook as well as a 100% acrylic worsted weight yarn. I'm using the Vanna's Choice by Lion Brand. For each square you're going to need about 113 yards of yarn each ball has 170 yards and you're going to make four of these squares if you are making the make it your way crochet blanket. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe. Take a look around. There's lots of free crochet patterns. Of course, the first three weeks of this crochet along can also be found here in the make it your way crochet along playlist and uh, the channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. For our square today we're going to be working it in rows. You're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain for this square will need to be an even number of stitches. So two, four, six, eight, ten, so forth. Today for my square which is about ten and a half to eleven inches uh, you're going to chain thirty six. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a slip stitch into the second chain from your hook. You're then going to work a half double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that slip stitch into the next stitch, followed by a half double crochet worked into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. At the end of this row you're going to have a total of 35 stitches. At the end of row one you're going to chain one and turn your work. You will have ended on a slip stitch. So chain one, turn your work. For row two, and this is your repeat row, it's uh, almost the same as row one. You're going to slip stitch into that first stitch and then work a half double crochet into the next. And you're just working into the top of your stitches as you normally would. So slip stitch into the next stitch and half double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of this row you're going to chain one and turn your work and for the square you're going to work a total of 38 rows. So this is row two you're going to work 36 more rows of even moss stitch uh, worked exactly the same way as we've worked here, slip stitch in the first stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch until you have a total of 38. Your piece then should measure 
about 10 and a half inches square or 11 inches square and then you're going to meet me back here if you're um, finding that after 38 rows your piece isn't quite square uh, add a couple more rows until it is and uh, vice versa if you're finding that it's going over so um, but you're going to aim for around 38 rows if you're using your worsted weight yarn Once you have worked your 38 rows of even moss stitch, this is what your square is going to look like. We're then going to add a simple edging to our square. So if you fastened off, you will want to join with a slip stitch once again up into your top corner and chain one. Now for this square and for the crochet along, I am working 34 stitches across, across each end with one stitch in the corner. So this square, because it has 35 stitches across the top, at some point you're going to have to skip one stitch so that you'll only have 34. So you're going to begin by working 34 single crochet stitches all the way across the top of your square and then at some point you'll just want to simply skip a stitch you may want to skip one of the tighter skip uh, slip stitches and just work another single crochet a single crochet in the next stitch so go ahead work 34 stitches across you can change the number of stitches that you're working along each edge of your square just make sure that you make note of it so that you can do the same for each of the other squares in the crochet along this will just make it a little bit easier when we come to uh, slip stitching or single crocheting or however you choose to join them uh, i will make it a little bit easier Once you've single crocheted in each stitch all the way across, skipping one at one point, when you come to your corner, you're going to work one more single crochet into your corner. And then you're going to turn your work so that you're working along this rough edge. You're now going to work 34 single crochet stitches along this rough edge, evenly spacing them out because there's no uh, clear space to put your stitches so just make sure that they're evenly spaced all the way across. When you come to your next corner stitch, work a single crochet in that corner stitch and 34 stitches across the bottom, single crochet in the corner, 34 stitches along the opposite side, and single crochet in the corner. Once you've worked single crochet stitches all the way around your square, you can join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, fasten off, weave in your ends and block the square if desired. If you're working the make it your way crochet long, you'll want to make four of these squares in total. So that's it for working the even moss square. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing all of your finished squares and of course that finished make it your way blanket at the end of this crochet along. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.